Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode one of season two of part two of Jobless Reincarnation. Yeah, you're probably wondering why in the world this is coming out, you know, tomorrow and such, because it is 1023. Mind you, I came home, I ate, because I hadn't eaten since like 11 o'clock in the morning. I had hot Cheetos. Um, I ate my lunch, I had a cookie, or cookies, like, I think three or four cookies and such, and I got sleepy. <laughs> I, I literally just kind of woke up a couple of hours ago, and it's now late 10, 23, and I was like, oh shit. Because at first I was just going to wait until tomorrow to do this with Kondasuba and everything, but I was like, well, I kind of have time. I was like, I'll just go ahead and record it now so I don't have to do it tomorrow when I come home. But, yeah, I'm so excited to see how this is going to go because my babies are going to get married. Or, technically, they're probably already married as of this. But, who cares? They're, <laughs> they're married. We're about to go into the honeymoon phase of this show. But, let's got to get started in three, two, one, go. Really? Even though you <laughs> you got a wife <sighs> and everything else. <laughs> Still eating as always first. You're glowing, as per se. Yeah, I mean, you can say that. I don't. <laughs> no, no, no. Because, you know, he doesn't run with it like. I know. You can't be like, hey, how's the weather? How you doing? And then go into, like, the sex talk, kind of. <sighs> Damn. Like, don't do that on a first date. <laughs> right? Which is no. you better. I swear to God, because if you don't, if you don't, hmm? 
another question. What are you asking in this day and age for this series? I mean, because isn't there a church or something around? You just ask the priest, right? So, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> just like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, that's like the hardest thing. You still want something nice. Yes. It's a little too big for two people, but it just needs some TLC. Rudy. It, it, it really needs some TLC. Hold up, baby. What you gonna do? Have it like your whole team now also live here too? Do you want to divide and conquer or something? You don't want to put no protection charm or anything around the house. Oh, you blaze, you're so sweet.
the fuck? Wake up! Wake the fuck up! <laughs> Me, I would have been like, WAKE UP! <laughs> and watch it be in the basement. <laughs> Maybe we should choose a different place. I I don't know. I mean, but it's a really nice place. Big, big and spacious. Okay. Uh, we know, we know, it's okay. Like, no, we're not gonna say that you ran away. You did good. <laughs> yeah. A doll? That's what was guarding the house?
Y'all not going to try to make a 2B out of this, are you? <laughs> Either make a 2B or E from Stellar Blade. <laughs> Exactly. Damn. Good. The fact that he is carrying that breath nuts. <laughs> yeah. You might as well just say yeah. He he seems very passionate about this cuz if he wasn't he wouldn't do all this. So wouldn't it just be better to leave the the doll at the house so that he could just come whenever he wants to just do research on it? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Oh. 
I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. Ready. Yeah, like, um, do you want codes? That's okay, Phil. He'll always wait for you. Well, damn, bro. Rough on her first time. Dude, you remember when he thought she left? Oh my god. Like, I felt so bad for him. Healthy ass couple, let's go! Oh my god! Yeah, and if you ever get depressed, you fucking talk to her. Oh. Ten out of fucking ten. Like everything I fucking needed and more. Thank you, God. Oh my God, this was just so freaking good. But the fact is that it was freaking doll that was guarding the house. Was, yeah, interesting. Good thing for an alarm to have. I'm just saying. Um, I love the fact that he like made the roof her hair like somewhat similar to her hair color. Like you, you fucking idiot. I love you so much. Oh my God. I can't with him. Jesus Christ. Once again, my my baby has grown so much from this boy to this man within a span of two freaking seasons. And it's just, it, it's freaking nuts to see that. Because, like, I never would have thought in my wildest dreams that, like, this is the same kid. It, it's just, like, it, it's still funny. With the fact of him rem reminiscing of that moment after they had sex and thinking, like, because... 
of course, he was still worried. And remember, because and this is the one thing I'm going to say is, and I cannot believe I'm about to talk about this shit again. Thinking about having, like, one night stands with anyone, you're, of course, it's platonic, you have no feelings on it, very similar to, you know, friends with benefits and stuff, where it's just, like, it, it's just sex. Like, I still care about you as a friend, but this is what we are. Like, I'm not gonna have feelings for you, but then he doesn't fucking fucking change. And sometimes majority of shows that I have watched, whether it's shows that I have watched as a kid um, that you know, because I, I think all of us did this. You're watching shows that you weren't supposed to watch as a kid and such, and then you know, you're like, hmm. Now I wonder why I'm oh so mature and understand X, Y, and Z and such. And then you rewatch it as an adult, you'd be like, damn, what the fuck? Um, it's funny because like, because uh, I might end up rewatching one of these shows from my like quote unquote childhood, one of the shows that I was not supposed to be watching as a kid. Um, one of the HBO shows that I watched. Uh, how. And I've said this in season one, specifically with What's Her Face, um, how you have sex like a guy and you're instantly like, okay, no feelings, no nothing. And then you dip like early next morning or maybe even like after you have sex with the person, you're like, "Mm -mm." (laughs) moving on by. And typically with that, normally the, the girl, the female is the one who gets super duper depressed and upset about it because it's like, damn, like that is the one moment that we're we're vulnerable with a man or anyone and such we're we're showing like our true selves to them and so i love the fact that once again we got to see that but this time it's a guy's perspective in it because of course what's her face really scarred him in that ish for season one where they they do the deed and then the next day she's gone and it's just him and he's alone and you st- still this day, I still feel bad for her because nobody wants to go through that. So with the fact is that he finally has sex with Sophie and that these two care about each other for the longest time and he wakes up the next day and he's like, hey, yo, like two times I've been very like 100% dead in the relationship, vulnerable with this person and I'm possibly getting led astray again. Like, to go down the rabbit hole into a deeper depression but you know she comes back in with a smile on her face and like he's oh i had to go do something and and it's just it's so warming to me because like you can still have that ish in real life but no the fact that he got out of the house and everything's so fucking good even with this little perverted mind and stuff gets of course dumb my baby boy (laughs) dog because guys because i get it most of you guys are perverted and such. But this is the same thing for us girls. We are too. Like, mm-hmm. Me, as a quiet girl, or as a quiet woman, and the, the things are on my mind. <laughs> we already know. If you have not seen my reaction to Gushing Over Magical Girls, the kinks in that show. Mm, I digress. But no, this was a good first episode. Like, damn, I love the fact that, like, we are finally back with this show because I was like, damn, it felt like forever since we initially saw the last episode of the first half of the show. So to now finally be back, it, it's just still surreal and weird. So it's going to take like a little while to get used to it. But no, I'm just happy. I honestly cannot wait to see the wedding next week. Thank God I'm on break. Thank you, Jesus. But yeah. Good start for the second half of season two. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 13 of season two of Jobless Reincarnation. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join Mattress One. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode two. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.